again there. Friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome back. It is good to see you all here for some more of Raptoria in... Yeah, it's time for more Surviving the Aftermath. Good to see you all here. Man, I am excited to continue on with this game. we got a lot to do uh, today. Oh, and somebody's... Uh, oh, someone's been caught stealing planks. Oh, I think this is the one where the kid's building a fort. Oh, leave the fort alone. It's fine. Oh, jeez. All right, plus three happiness. Good. All right. Well, welcome back to all of you. Thank you very much for smashing that like button to support the series and, of course, to see more Surviving the Aftermath on the channel. You all have been wonderful, and I'm happy to kind of continue on here and try to speed up our uh, longevity in our in our colony. Looks like we got specialists ready to go. So you know the drill by now. We're just going to continue on plowing through and gathering materials and uh, upgrading our camps as much as possible and then exploring the wastelands around us. So thanks again for being here and tuning in. You're welcome, YouTuber. Well, thanks. All right, let's head up this way. And uh, we're going to just kind of try to first bring in the most important resources, which I think are building resources first. And then when we find a car, we'll try to uh, unlock the uh, garages and stuff. So that'll be our goal for today, whenever we can. Looks like communal eating has been completed. That's good. We have 336 research points remaining. Ah, we could start with advanced farming, which would be good. But I think, ooh, also better sites, which would be great. Harvest speed would increase for everything. And wait a minute. Yeah, it seems to unlock greenhouses, but isn't that a later... Oh, maybe it's part of the thing now. Oh, advanced farming, I bet. Uh, no, that's interesting. How, how would we unlock greenhouses then? Well, regardless, maybe we already did, but I think we should go down that line to focus on food as soon as we can. But let's check out what else there is around here. We have energy storage, um, which will allow me to build battery racks and whatnot. Colony stuff. Let's see. Remembrance. That's all for happiness, which isn't really implemented yet fully into the game. But I think nurses would be good for when we start getting into some of these disasters. So let's start going down that route. We'll start researching uh, all of that so we can bring in more uh, doctors and nurses without really having to build many more um, medical stations. I do want to build another one already so then we can have ourselves um, two, four doctors here uh, because each of them takes uh, two. Or, well, once the research is done, they'll take two. And then we can uh, have four occupants for each, which totals up to eight. Yes, we could do math. Thank oh, thank you. Yes. I know. Yeah. All right. Good. Uh, I didn't even go to a school yet, and uh, we don't have one built, but hopefully soon. All right, a lot of these people are radiated. Uh, I think it was from a, re a recent, um, like, uh, group that joined us. I'm, I can't quite remember exactly, but it looks like we got... Oh, somebody just died. Uh-oh. All right, let's see here. We've got... Um, yeah, so we need to definitely focus on uh, getting more and more uh, buildings up for that. This is kind of cool that it makes it a lot more challenging, because your your biggest problem now is the fact that you have a limited amount of options for research, but hold on a second, wait a minute, check that out, we got ourselves a car, although it doesn't seem to, <laughs> it keeps, it seems, oh there it goes, hatchback, it, it keeps uh, trying to rotate around on me so I couldn't get it, but there we go, that's what we want, we'll bring a car back now, we finally found our first car, so that means we're going to need some gas, so we may as well start grabbing that now, good, and we'll head back to town, so who died now, radiation sickness, right, yeah, that's unfortunate, we got a lot of people who are sick from the, uh, Probably from recent people who came in from the wasteland, so we'll try to treat them as quickly as possible. Yes, we now have our second medical tent up, and we're doing what we can. The next goal then is... Oh, actually, two people seems to have died now, although it only said one, unless I missed it. But regardless... Oh, what is rubber scrubber? A rubber scrubber? Production speed plus 20 for environmental station. Ah, we should get that up as soon as possible, too. All right, nurses, medical training will give us healing speed plus 15%. That's good, but I think we need more capacity would be our major issue right now. And let's go into production. I want to continue to go down this line so we can start getting some of our sawmills up. And, uh, oh yeah, that, that would be really good. All right, let's start with energy storage, and we'll start getting some of our power up as soon as we have buildings that can actually use those. So our next thing is going to be production now. And I think we turned off our burial site before, so let's get somebody working there. Got to clean up a couple of bodies, unfortunately. But it uh, looks like everyone else is being treated. So we should have some more people ready to go. And excellent. That medical research complete. So now we've got more uh, room for everybody. So let's go ahead and hire another person here. And I want to try to lower the production numbers then at the plastic site. Metal can keep coming in. So we now have another transporter. We'll kind of keep balancing the, uh, the numbers while we're waiting for uh, sickness to come through. Oh, yes. This is the uh, hospital lady, the medical uh, area. That town there is good for medicine and whatnot. Ah, capacitors. Beautiful. 
Okay, let's see if we can bring that car back, but not before we grab all those capacitors. Certainly want to grab as many of those as we can in one run before everyone comes back to base. Now, Panda, you go ahead and grab some more fuel, sir. And we will continue to search around the map and see what we can do. Okay, so let's see. Water's good. F food is just amazing. That is really good. No fuel, though, and research is very low. Ah, oh, good. Two more adults now. That's great. We can fill up the rest of the medical tents. And uh, I think it'd probably be a good idea to just keep those full because you never know now when we might have a big group come on in and, you know, need everybody to go there and work. Oops, didn't mean to do that. There we go. All right, we'll go back to producing plastic again. The town is really starting to grow. And I hope with more and more people coming in, we'll have more and more opportunities for new jobs. We still need to build more homes, though. Uh, so I'm going to keep going with tenement buildings just because they're fast and cheap. And that'll be a really good thing to build, just for starters. And then, once we got housing for everybody, then we can start making uh, different levels of housing. Wow, this guy's got an incredible amount of stuff. Let's head back up here. Grab some more components. So he's going to come back with over 50 components. Jeez, we're going to have, like, hundreds of components when we get everyone back. And Panda, you are done with the fuel. So let's try to go looking for... Let's grab those iodine pills and then head back to base. Uh, those are, uh, yeah, iodine pills for radiation sickness. Especially good if we face nuclear fallout next. All right, tools are holding good. We're going to, of course, not use tools. But now we finally have access to cars, so that's great. And we'll finally deal with that. Energy storage completed. Good. I don't think we have enough points for research anymore. Let's take a peek. Uh, let's see. Battery rack. This will cost 50 for quality capacitors, which increases durability plus 40. So I guess that'd be a good investment. And then the next thing is power saws which will give us uh, the ability to uh, unlockables. Oh, I see what it requires to build, yeah. It should give us an actual number. Oh, buildings need maintenance, too. Okay, I don't know if that's a new thing or not. Probably not, because there was the uh, uh, maintenance depot that was a thing before. But regardless, we're going to still need concrete, wood, all the other stuff. Let's make sure all of our gathering sites are locked onto some sort of material still. If they're not, I think it'll turn yellow. So it looks like everything's on top of something. Oh, in this case it turns red. Okay. Well, lots of resources there, so go grab that stuff next. Alright, glory to Raptoria. Everybody's doing a great job. The next thing to do then is to build these tenement buildings. And this is good news. We have 311 food, which means when we build cookhouses, uh, we'll be able to get more than enough food from those, and uh, we can take our workforce elsewhere to put it towards industry rather than anything else, rather than farming. All right, let's go for those iodine pills. Panda should be able to get there in the next turn, and then everyone can start RTB. All right, good. Now, are we good with the uh, burials? Okay, I think we're good. Two out of 30, only two people died. Okay. I thought we actually had way more deaths than that. Shouldn't we have three? That's interesting. One body may have disappeared or something like that. That could be a thing. Maybe got dragged off by wolves or something. Or maybe that explains our food situation. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Wow, we still need a lot of fish. Look at that. Uh, fish is at uh, whatever number it was there. Let's check the cookhouse. Did I actually research that? Mm, we did. Okay, we should start making mixed meals now. Although first we need a uh, we need an ability to make firewood, so let's get that stored up. So let's see. I've forgotten since our last time. We are ready to go on that. That is great. So we'll go ahead and put this down here. Actually, that's near the trapper, so we don't want to do that. So let's try over here. Let's try building it. Uh, actually, you know what would be even better is if we started cutting down these forests here, and then we can make the most out of this wood. So let's put the tra uh, the logging camp right across the street from the trapper. That's good. Let's head back to our specialist yet again. And I think you're ready to come on back, dude. So you did a fantastic job. Although he could bring some more fiber for future clothes. That's a good idea. Yep. And we're done with the components, so grab the whip. And we have ourselves a car. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Sounds wonderful. All right. We'll get that home. We'll get that fixed up and then uh, also fueled up, too. Panda will take uh, two or three trips here at the uh, large devastated high-rises. And we will have ourselves enough supplies. Good. All right. So let's see. All done there. So we got an extra person to work on stuff. Tenement building construction has been completed. I wonder what our housing capacity is now. Looks like each of these tenements kind of evens out. People move to have the lowest number possible. Magnetic Storm! Excellent timing for that again. 
just before we're about to build our electric stuff. That's really good. That won't affect us. So that's two giant disasters that are going to breeze by with no consequence. That's good. Or little to no consequence. Let's go for those fibers. Grab those iodine pills. And the car is ready to come on back again. Where exactly is home? Uh, mall town. So there's... Uh, wait. There we are. Long way to go. All right, one day until the magnetic storm. That won't have any consequences for us. I hope we get some more people at the gate. Old woman has appeared in front of the gate. There we go. I think this is for the rhymes. Uh, you're, you're surprised to see an old woman with a face like peanut, like a peanut and a bent body standing in front of the gate. Nobody admits to seeing her arrive. The woman crackles. Interested in riddles? Answer this. I'm tall when I'm born, but short when I'm gone. What am I? Uh, time... Wait, time, a day, candle, or pride? Tall when I'm bored, but short when I'm gone. I would assume that's a candle? I'm gonna... Ta oh, could also be time. Tall tall time? New I'm gonna go with a candle. Uh, let's see, a wide toothless smile appears. Ah, that'd be. She reaches into her robes and hands you... Good! Looks like we have 18... I think that's antibiotics. Cool. Uh, yes, antibiotics 31, medicine plus 3, but our boys are on the way back with tons of supplies. And iodine pills, too. So we'll have medicine, antibiotics, and iodine pills as well. I think those are the only three that you need to worry about. Logging camp is now complete. Great job, Raptoria. Let's zoom in on that there, and I think we can just start cutting down trees on this side. Actually, let's just cut down all the trees around the town. There we go. Not going to look so pretty anymore, but that's all right. Actually, we'll clear this area here for future farming. Let's do that. Boom. Excellent. And now we need to make a cookhouse. Let's go back to the specialist one more time, though. Keep grabbing that fiber. Keep grabbing the iodine pills. And keep skirt-skirting back to base, my man. Excellent. Now, back to the main camp. Okay, so I want to try to do a cookhouse now. And I think most of the food that's gathered is put down here. And it's very far away from our fisheries and other things like that. So I think we should start eventually moving our uh, food production up here. So we have two fishing docks, and we do have kind of a trapper nearby. And the farms are not too far away either. And we'll be moved over here eventually for the larger farm. So let's put a cookhouse kind of over here. It'll be our, our cooking lodge. An Arby's, if you will. A Wendy's, a KFC, a Burger King, what have you. That'll be a good position for that. And then we'll build a food storage up there and see if we can move all of our food there. All right, there's the magnetic storm. There's food storage. We'll store that right here. Specialist ready to go again. It'd be kind of cool, by the way, if when the magnetic storm hit, we could actually see it over the camp. That'd be kind of cool. All right, Panda, I think, has no more trips there, so on back to the camp. And the car is on its way, too. We'll have to build that garage, but we do have to research that. And we will have to find some more research points. Be cool if we could have a research lab that constantly brought in like, you know, 20 points a day or something like that. So that way we completely weren't frozen out. I don't think the magnetic storm causes any fires either, so it's not something we have to worry about. Alright, group of survivors at the gate, wonderful. With a new person named Sable. She found her small and nimble frame, advent scavenging hazardous buildings, yada yada. Okay, so she's a good scavenger it seems. Four on the scavenge. Two on the scouting. Good. And we have uh, six people. Awesome. Okay, we can definitely accept all those people. Come on in. Very cool. All right, several construction zones are lacking resources. I don't think we're really doing any more construction, are we? Oh, the, the cookhouse, but yeah, that's just got to be delivered. That just takes time. All right, everyone who's free can work on random resource gathering. And eventually we'll get our sawmill up. Just after this is all over. Yeah. All right, come on back to camp. Sable, I think we'll... Uh, is she a good fighter? Oh, she only has one for attack. Mm. Let's go scout over here. We'll bring the car back, too. Too bad we can't clear that nuclear waste. That'd be nice, but it's too large of a patch, I think, to get, get all that stuff out of there. It's too big of an area. Okay. Tenement buildings are looking nice. We'll eventually upgrade that, I think, and have something different. Population is at 32. We probably want to get closer to about 100. 
by the time we're done here. And we'll have some more people working at the cookhouse as soon as that's done. Unfortunately, out of research points. I really want there to be a research building. That'd be so cool. There's the cookhouse now. Let's go ahead and put that on mixed meals. Yep, mixed meal. High priority. And then we'll uh, hire some more people to work there as soon as we research line cooks, which I think at least takes 50. That's the minimum, minimum cost of any sort of research in the game. All right, specialist ready for action. Good. Bring back all those goodies, my man. Alright, a couple more moves for the car. And Sable will do us some scouting. Alright, we got some more metal there. That's fantastic. Collapsed apartments next to a place called Lushton. Hippieville. Go ahead and have a seat. Just mind the plants. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we can definitely trade for food there. It's like a farming area. You can see that they want uh, metal, which they're right next to, and medicine and other things for bread, sunflower, carrots, and uh, wood. So that's good. So they offer natural products. Did I make a move on everybody? Yes, we did. Okay, cool. All right. Well, things are really coming together. I'm going to have to move our uh, food storage up here as soon as it's ready. I wonder if there's a way to actually demolish this. If I tell them to demolish this, I wonder if they'll... There's only one fish here, so let's order the demolish, demolishing of the uh, food storage there. And then we'll make this a top priority for construction. Looks like it's almost complete anyway. And we'll, uh, once it's done, we'll, we'll tell him where to go. There's an odd fellow at the gate. Uh, Dr. Wizard MD. Uh, let's see, this guy wants to add, like, oh, I've seen this one many a time. Um, let's go ahead and pass on the offer, because he seems always crazy, no matter what. He, like, uh, puts glowing radioactive rocks into stuff, and it can be bad. At least that's all I've seen from it. All right, let's continue to mark for berries. Let's see here. There's a good spot. Cool. And now all the fish and, and other stuff can be brought in faster. Good. Looks like a lot of stuff being brought in. Better to have it closer to the cookhouse, where there'll be a backup of... Uh, people will eat first the, the mixed meals before they go for food, regular food. All right, going south now, near the next next to the nuclear lake. Looks like we need a little bit more time before we can scout. And we brought back a heck of a lot of food, great amount of components, lots of metal. Beautiful. Still need more wood, though, so we're definitely going to have to research the uh, lumber mill at some point. That's going to have to be the next thing. So we need more research. So we need power saws, 150, to unlock the sawmill. And then craftsmanship increases the production of tailor and tool shop items. That's great. And apprentices also increase the amount of people who can work there. Good. And then we can finally start on things like junk recycling. And then start getting towards our end game stuff, which is the... Uh, oh, conveyor belts. Neat. Uh, we, we can get towards our end game stuff, which is going to be uh, industrial mining. There we go. The extractors, which are going to be huge. So to get there, we need about... Let's see. 153... Oh, boy. Yep. Close to about a thousand points to unlock all the stuff needed down that line. And then some, because there's al also some other side upgrades that we'll need to get to. So the specialist will be very important. I wonder what we need to do then to research vehicles, but we'll let everyone hang out at camp for a little bit. They are wounded. Um, the car still needs to get here, so Panda and uh, Brock are going to heal up. So we'll move everybody at the same time for efficiency's sake. Cool. Well, food seems to be holding nicely. Water is holding as well. Looks like one of our stockpiles is full. Recycler needs to be moved again. There we go. There's a good pile there. Probably other ones closer, but it's okay. We'll eventually clear out the whole city map anyway. All right, Brock. It is time to start looking for more research, my man. We've done a good job looking in the north and the south and a little bit into the east. I think we should go west now. And you too, Panda. Let's all move west. And we can start knocking out bandits and stuff when we see them. So we'll bring the car back to Raptoria. Good job. And then we'll have the car here for uh, future repair. Oh, very good. Excellent. She found a radar dish. That brings us uh, 589 research points. That is perfect timing. Good work. Let me make sure I found everybody here. Yep, we did. And then we should have a car like sitting at the gate somewhere or it doesn't appear until we build the garage but anyway the car's at base we just need to have it repaired so we can really make it efficient and haul a lot of people and go a longer distance and also to give it fuel 
All right, concrete ruin has been depleted. Man, we are getting very close to having a uh, much more functional society. Is that trash sitting out there? Oh, we could use that. There could be plastic in there. We have to salvage that. All right, so lots of farm fields here. Let's see how the mixed meals are going. Let's see what we got for storage. Eh, she's not really... Eh, they're probably all eating them. All right, we've got our wandering merchant again. He has... Uh, what is that? I don't know what those seeds are. I think those are soybeans, and that seems to be a plus one... Cr that, that's a seed. But that looks like a cricket. What is that? Does that not look like a bug? I have no idea what that is. I think those are soybeans, and I think that's... I, I'm curious. I'm gonna, is that peanut seeds, maybe? Let's take it. It says a seed. What, what kind of a seed could that be? Let's pause for a moment. Uh, let's go to the farm. I'm very curious to know what that is. I've never seen that before. Uh, it is... What the F? Did I just get scammed? Oh, I think it was bugs for... Uh, it was a bug. It's not a seed. I think you put those into the insect farms so that way they can mate and then have more and more insects. you got to find them first before you can plant them, I guess. Or before you can start them to grow. Okay. Okay, well, I guess we need bugs in the future, I suppose, if you want to get that crazy. Not a problem, then. Let's go right for the uh, radar dish. <gasps> and another car! Beautiful, another station wagon. We're starting to find rides everywhere. Beautiful. Let's make our way towards the uh, radar dish, then. We'll grab that car and bring that back. We'll probably have uh, our scout do that. Okay. Alright, yeah, I've never done the bugs before. I don't think you could ever trade before for them. Not that I've seen. So that's my first time seeing that, so that's cool. Nice first here for me in surviving the aftermath. Something new after playing many a time. That's fresh and new. Okay, wow, food is continuing to go up. It'd be nice if we could give our people double rations for additional energy or for um, more of something else. All right, let's see. So we got people working at the logging camp. Let's double the production on that. Cookhouse is going to need that. Mixed meals are coming through. That's good. 105 medicine. Oh, wow, look at that. 18 iodine pills, 31 antibiotics, and 56 medicine. So medicine is for injuries. Antibiotics is for if they're diseased or sick, and then iodine is for the radi radiation. So I've learned that now, too. Okay, let's, uh, oh, oh ma'am, I'm, I'm sorry. I need to send you over there. Oh, she got exploded. That's right, she's okay. All right, Panda, you come on up here. Let's head to the car. Brock, go ahead and continue the research, sir. Oh, he can't get in there. Not quite. Well, we can start research again. So let's keep going down that uh, line that we were on before. Let's go for power saws now. Yeah. Awesome. So now we can finally start getting a lot of lumber, which is one thing we were really short on. So that's good. People seem to be doing very well in our colony as well. It's good to see. A lot of not deaths. That's a very good thing, isn't it? Yay, not dying. Yeah. That's the... That's the best thing, right? Yeah, all right, cool. Very nice. Let's see. Well, planks are going to come in soon. And I wonder how long until that uh, research is completed. Shouldn't be much longer now. We will have to worry about water at some point. But if we ever find a heat wave, we can always just uh, tell everybody to immediately build wells. It doesn't take that long. To worry about that. All right. Wow, these people are going to get messed up. We'll have those two continuously hit that place. Panda, you scout over here. And I want... Oh, another research site. Wonderful. Beautiful. He's actually a pretty good fighter with three attack. Panda's got five, but I think he can handle that on his own. So we're going to steal the whip. And let's go forward this way. Perfect, so we're bringing cars back to base. We're gonna have uh, Panda clear that. So that's a lot of research here now. So the uh, major part of the game just opened up for us. So that's awesome. So after power saws, let's go for uh, junk recycling. So that way we can get mechanical parts out of that. And then start building things like the windmill. 
That well, looks like an odd group is at the gate. Uh, they want to trade with... If we... Uh, well, this is kind of weird. They'll give us components for plastic. Plastic seems to be easy to get. I think what we really want here is clothing. Let's go with clothes. Cool. Alright, that's a good call. Alright, more deposits being completed or depleted. I think we're okay there. Should build a road up here now. Now we've got these two buildings stationed. Uh, let's see. There we go. Alright, they'll build a road up to the cookhouse and the fishing docks. I don't need to build a road to everything. If it's close enough, it's fine. We'll upgrade and finish those later anyway. But luckily, fishing and trapping are permanent, uh, they're, they're finite, uh, no, infinite, rather. So that way you don't have to worry about them. You just need more of them eventually. Okay, let's see, apprentices, tool shop and tailor, or the production speed. Oh, I wonder if this is one or the other. Mm. Well, we'll worry about that later. Let's see what else we've got for, let's see, general storage, hazmat engineering, reinforced gate. Food, I think we're okay on for now, so I'm going to hold off on that. I think wind power is better, so I want to do that. So then let's go for junk recycling so we can get better batteries and then better wind power. That's where I want to, that's the line I want to go down. Because eventually we're going to need all that extra power for industrial mining. And wind power is just the better power to go down. So let's do that. Okay, everybody's ready to go. There's only 39 research here, so Brock. Ooh, a big hit from Brock. Down to 40, he's going to have to head back. Okay, let's send these two up here to continue the research. Up to 275. And uh, hopefully this has like another 300 here. Send the car back. And everybody seems to have made their moves. Good. Alright, let's head back to the HQ. Got to find it again. There we go. And the beautiful little city in the middle of nowhere. What a oasis. Wow, food is just really increasing like crazy. How much room do we have? Oh, we still got plenty of room. All right, kids are going to become of age soon. I want to build some schools, but can't do that yet. And I'd like to build wind turbines, but kind of at the uh, kind of at the no-can-do point for that right now. Let's see. Um, so we need at least... Well, we could start. We can already start building power saws, but uh, battery stacking will be another 250 plus another three. So we're at 550 that I need at least to have some major power. I, I think we'll make power once we hit the 550 mark and have it all researched. It's just better to build and maintain the big windmills rather than going with anything else because they produce the most amount of power and require the least amount of maintenance if you just have two big ones. Statistically, it works out better. All right, let's send you, uh, Brock, to explore. Panda, knock him. Knock him down. Nice. Good job, sir. All right, we'll have, uh, Fem Shep go over there, and then we're going to have our car go back to Raptoria. Excellent. All right, folks, that is it for today's episode. Thank you very much for joining me. We now have ourselves another... 314 research points to go, which puts us well over our goal of unlocking the remaining stuff. So if you want to see another episode tomorrow, make sure you smack that like button, and I'll see you all for more Surviving the Aftermath next time. Thanks for being with me today. You were great. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.